Hi, my name is Sally Gimmon, and I'm the owner of TrustIsYou.com. I'm starting a new podcast called Stop Paying Capital Gains Now. The reason I am starting this is because so many investors are not didn't know that capital gains are 23.8% on all profits. Many people don't realize that, uh, what a capital gain is. This is from the IRS. Almost everything you own and use for personal purposes, pleasure, or investment is a capital asset. That's a very broad to topic, and it can cover so much. Now, there are five words to this special trust. It is an irrevocable, complex, discretionary, non-grantor, spendthrift trust. There are two trusts. One's a business trust for 1099 income, and one is for uh, passive income. That's investments. I don't care if you're a real estate investor, crypto investor, crypto miner, day trader, forex, stock market, stock, stock options. So again, the uh, five words. Irrevocable means it goes from generation to generation. Think of the famous quote by Nelson Rockefeller, own nothing, control everything. The Rockefeller's trust is seven generations old and has over 390 people in it. Uh, mine's only uh, two generations right now. Uh, so irrevocable. Complex means it can hold money from day to day, month to month, year to year. A com uh, complex trust uh, goes from generation to generation. My mom and dad had a trust to avoid probate. Susie Orman talks about the trust on uh, PBS, again, to avoid probate. It does not protect you from taxes, it does not protect you from being sued, and does not protect your identity. With my father's uh, trust, it is going to be shut down when I do his 2022 taxes. All money in the trust is going to have to be evenly distributed between my two brothers and I, and it's over with. This trust is going to go on from generation to generation. So again, irrevocable, complex, discretionary. This means a trustee can make the rules and uh, the uh, beneficiaries have to follow them. I have a couple who are trustees. Their only daughter is unfortunately involved in drugs and alcohol. They can uh, demand that she does four random drug tests a month. Uh, so they will pay for her living conditions and give her uh, food cards, uh, give her gift cards to go to the grocery store. Uh, she tried suing them. As soon as the judge saw it, uh, the trust, he threw out the case and she has to do that. Again, irrevocable, complex, discretionary, non-grantor. This means that somebody will sign up for the trust who is never, ever going to be a beneficiary and not somebody you're going to invest with. So you're going to have, uh, I use a family friend, Roy, uh, at the time he was 87 years old. He, he signed up for the trust. Again, I do have the beneficiary trust for the, my investments and the uh, business trust for my MLM, my brother's brewery, my sister-in-law's uh, landscaping company. Um, I do know he had to sign his name 17 times because he has arthritis in his hand. And uh, my roommate at the time had to sign too. And then the last word is spendthrift. This has been in front of the Supreme Court twice to say that a spendthrift trust can enter into any contract legally and, um, and uh, uh, do business on behalf. So this is a very specialized trust written in tax code 463B as in Bravo. Um, personally, I have used this trust to save money on a fix and flip where I get made 50% on the fix and flip. Almost $79,000, I saved oh, over $16,000. One of the reasons I am doing this uh, outside of my real estate group is because I have been asked by one of my friends, Kelly, who's a retired preacher from New Hampshire, uh, to tell his sad story. Uh, back in March of 2021, he uh, wholesaled a house from a gentleman who died of COVID. And, uh, they couldn't save, uh, they saved it from going to auction. He made $50,000 on it. Used the money to pay down debt and do other things. Uh, thought it was a great thing. He was going to get another house, never did. When he did his taxes in July of 2022 uh, for 2021, he found out he has over a $900 a month tax bill to the IRS. Um, he's driving Uber six nights a week and to put or more uh, salt into his wounds. Unfortunately, his wife fell and broke her hip. So one of his grown uh, children has to stay with her while he's out driving for Uber. Again, this is not a necessity. It is something to help people save money on their taxes. Um, so please uh, check out Stop Paying Capital Gains now. Please subscribe. Thank you for uh, taking the time to find out a little bit more about your taxes. Take care.